Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. But the, I mean, I guess the big question is, do we still want to keep the Precision Farming DLC now that we know that um, right, fertilizer is a complete and total waste of time for us? Doing any kind of fertilizer job is an absolute waste of time at this point. It's not going to benefit us in any way, shape or form. So there's no fertilizer contracts. Uh, we just about break even doing those. So it's just not worth our time to go and do them. And there is a small amount of profit in them. But honestly, yeah, it doesn't seem to be worth the time. So I, I'm kind of leaning towards keeping the precision farming because of, you know, there, there are benefits to having it on our own land. It, it Basically, we get a, a higher yield than we would right now. So we, we can end up with a bigger profit coming in overall, but it takes quite a while to get to it. And we've got to have our own land and have things sort of running on it like that in order to be able to benefit from this. And that's a bit that I'm not quite so sure about. Like, is it worth that effort or not? And I genuinely don't know at the moment genuinely don't know i'm very much um and iron over this whether or not it's something that we should be doing or not so i'm gonna leave this one to you i want you to get into the comment section and talk about the precision farming do you think at this stage we should be just giving up on the precision farming because of how you know overall for contracts it really doesn't have any benefit whatsoever. Um, like, once you do get the other jobs done, you kind of got your back to square one with contracts. But there's no additional thing coming in with it. Like, you go and get all that fertilizer on, you're not getting any additional yield from the crops or anything. Which is kind of what you'd want from the contracts, the amount of work we put in. However... It does seem like that there would be long-term benefit on our own land. It appears that the yield will get substantially higher on our own land by using it and doing everything that we need to do with that particular, you know, with all the settings on the DLC. I don't think that potato harvester is going to get all the way down there before he fills up. I'm hoping he will, but we'll have to wait and see now. Next, I want to go to you, and that's ideal, actually. He's gone and turned around there. He has left a great big chunk of land down his end. It's a bit disappointing. There's a lot of room for turning down here, it must be said, so we're not really going to need to worry about this too much. It does seem to be a nice lot of room down here. I'm going to take this all the way down to this corner. Right the way down to there, and... We'll put him going again. He's going to go like that. And then I'm going to have the standard higher... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do any more than that. Because there's enough room here to turn round at this end. We've got plenty of room for turning here. So I'll put it out onto that side of the field. And we will put standard hired help when we'll start running it up and down there. And then that's going to give us room to be able to start working on the field of potatoes right there for field 9. And... I do remember from the comments, a lot of people saying that these root crops, they can give you some of the best uh, return for money out of any of the contracts because of the huge amount of extra crop that you end up with. And I like that idea. I really do. I think that is an excellent idea. I think this is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So we'll see if we can cash in on it. That just means that i got to go a little bit of a distance with the potatoes from that field. We've got to get them over to the uh, all the way into town. But hopefully there won't be too many deliveries. I don't think there's going to be. Now, I want to go control H in here. And I want to turn that off so that we've got standard hired help on here. And off you go. Right, standard hired help on that sugar beet harvester right there. We shouldn't have any problems with you. Then I want to go back to this one. I'm on 40% full at the moment. I'm going to reverse back down here. The potatoes are waiting. 
But I want to get this one offloaded so this one can keep going. I know the potatoes are waiting. I've got another load of sugar beet that I need to go and empty out as well. So we'll go and deal with that in a minute. Yeah, let's get that one unloaded. He's on 50%. I think it's this one. I'm not actually sure which one. Uh, it is this one that's on over 50%. 50, yes, it's definitely this one. It should be able to. By the time I get down to the end of the field, this should be a completely full trailer for me. What are we on? 29,000. Yeah, well, it might be a completely full. It goes up to 31. Oh, it might not be. Because there's a slightly lower yield here for the sugar beet in this field. It's a bit more up in the air, this one is, isn't it? Right, well, we, we've got 29,900 in here. 29,948. Okay, I'm going to take this up the road a minute, and I'm going to go and tip this one out in this storage facility just up here. Then we will come back and we'll get the potatoes going and stuff down there. Uh, we've got the other sugar beet one to just take a little bit more off of, and then I can go and do something with that. The train, right where it stopped at the moment, is a tad inconvenient for everybody involved. So I'm going to have to move that one. I'm going to do... Right, if I ignore you. You are doing a great job, actually. And, yeah, I'll, I'll just go and empty that one in a minute. Uh, you... Let's get this one. We get this one here. Now, technically, I should come out. I should lift that one out of the crop, and I should come up round. I'm not going to this time. I'm actually going to drive on the potatoes. I have seen this done before in potato harvesting. You don't normally want to do this because it can damage the potatoes that are in the ground. But if you've... I mean, it depends what wheels you're using. If you're using big flotation tires, you're more likely to be able to get away with it without doing too much damage to the crop. Yeah, if you're harvesting wheat or something like that, then that's a different kettle of fish, right? You're much less likely to be able to get away with doing something like this. But I'm confident that we can do this without doing too much damage to the crop underneath. There are probably potato farmers among you right now that are genuinely horrified with what I have just done. And absolutely appalled and disgusted, and probably rightly so, with how I have just gone and committed that ultimate sacrilege right there with those potatoes. But, um, yeah, let's, let's just pretend that never happened then, shall we? Uh, you're the one that I'm after now. I need to move you on down the track a bit. I don't want to leave you here. I'm going to want to get you closer to the next facility. So if I bring you down just far enough that we can have that gate closed. The one over here, it doesn't really matter. if I'm trying to steer around the corner. I'm physically turning my steering wheel at the moment to get around that corner. Right, that's fine there. Back you up a bit. Back up, back up, back up. Well, well stop actually. I just need to stop. That's all we've got to do. There, right, shut that one off, and then I can go back to here, and this one can be tipped out. The potatoes are going, both the sugar beet harvesters are going. I got this one to tip out, then I'm going to go jump back, and I'm going to get that other thing of sugar beet, and I'm going to tip that one out, and uh, should be just in time to go and empty out some more stuff. Uh, you here, this one's a little bit different. I can bring you up like that. Take you right over to the end of the line there. And I can tip you here and you shouldn't go and touch the roof. Because if I try and tip you up directly underneath, then you are going to rip a hole in the roof. And we're not going to be popular with the people that run this place. Let's go forward a little bit more. There. Right. There's that one out. And now we can drive on up here. As long as you drive slowly while the trailer is dropping down, you're absolutely fine doesn't cause any problems you just don't want to be go doing it like at breakneck speed because that will damage something and we can come on down here so there's one trailer load in that storage and then all the other sugar beet is being sort of stashed away in the other storage area we need to decide how much sugar beet we've got in there and how much we're going to be able to use i'm also yet to start this next potato harvest job in here 
Let me get up to date with... Uh, I'm wondering if maybe I should just go and start this potato harvest job in here. Just get that one running. Because... You know, if, if the potato harvester is going, it's, it's kind of like filling up. It takes a while to fill those up, doesn't it? You in here. You're nearly done. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to bring this one out now. It's hardly any seed and hardly any fertilizer has been used. Very tempted to just get a refund on the fertilizer. And then not worry about it with any of the jobs from this point on. Because it doesn't look like it's going to benefit us anyway. Right. Go to you. Uh, yeah, you are the next one that I want to go and do. I want to go and empty you out. i got a bit of sugar beet there. I'll take another thousand litres off. We'll grab that while we're here. It's not going to be enough to make any vast amount of difference, I don't think. We're still going to need to take a full trailer load away from here. And then a bit more besides. But uh, we can just have a little bit off of here. Go on, that one's all the way unfolded, and there's a thousand litres into there. Right, ideal. Now we go and tip this into the storage, and then we can... I'll start the potato job. That's what I'll do. As soon as I get this one back, all of the machines, they seem to be running reasonably well. They seem to be running fairly low. I know I've got the seed drill up there. It's just about to finish that job. I'll need to drive that one back back a bit so that I can transfer the seed uh, possibly transfer the fer I, I don't think I will transfer that fertilizer we'll try and run the job without the fertilizer in it and we'll return the fertilizer I'm hoping the hired help will just run without fertilizer being in the machine it didn't used to in FS17 I know that but I think it does work all right now you can just have the machine without any fertilizer in it contract on field 25 is done we will wait and we will actually finish the con we will finish the job properly as we're supposed to uh yeah i'm gonna be interested to hear if you think that we should persevere with this precision farming dlc i know that some of you said uh, add on mod whatever it is i know some of you said originally that you think you didn't think perhaps we should have it whilst we're doing just contract jobs and we should only activate it once we get our own land. Uh, I will say now that I think that we should do an I, a, a yes or no on this one. I, either we do have it and we sort of just adapt how we do our contracts with what there is available with it. Or we get rid of it and we don't have it back. Um, sort of just we have a one or the other. We're, 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 like, we're either going to use it or we're not. Um, so, what is your opinions on the precision farming? Should we keep it? Should we ditch it? I think that, for me personally, I'm, I'm genuinely torn. Um, yes, it's going to make... It's, it does change things with the contracts. It does make things a little bit different with the contracts. So, we've got to make sure that we get the weeding contracts. Um, the herbicide contracts. And we, we do those. Uh, as far as the other things are concerned with contracts, if I go and get rid of this trailer load right here, then the last bit of sugar beet that's there, that will be the final trailer load that we need to go and tip. Um, the thing with the other contracts is... Yeah, we, we, we'll have to adapt, we'll have to change, we'll probably not do the fertilizer stuff just to make sure that we can keep running contracts in general. But with our own land, when we do get our own land and we start growing our own crops, that's where the precision farming can really start to shine and gives a decent profit as well. That's the other big thing with it, is that there is potentially a massive profit to be had from this thing because of the extra yield that we get. We've seen that we go back to pretty much a standard yield when we've got the orange yield on our fields, which is about 75 to 80% yield. So if we go all the way up to 125% yield on some of our fields, that is going to be pretty impressive. That is going to be a rather impressive amount of work that we'll be able to get. Now, help a G completed their task that will be the seed drill up the top and 
contract on field 23 finished. That would be... Oh, wait. What's, 20, what's field 23? Helper G has completed their task. Okay, who's Helper G? That have completed... It's not... You're not Helper G. Oh! Field 23 contract is you. And then... Uh, this one, no, you are turning down here. We'll need to go and unload you in a minute. I'm going to leave you there for a minute. Uh, you got, well, there's actually a tiny little stripy line up through the middle there, but he doesn't want to do. Yeah, he doesn't like that stripy line. Yeah, so it's such a narrow stripe, he doesn't like it. Okay, so this contract here is done. We can leave that narrow stripe. That's the final tram line. And the next seed job that I was looking at was going to be uh, sewing, no, well, yes, I was looking at doing these two jobs, uh, field 16, certainly, and that's just going to be seed, and then that's going to be a sugar beet job, and then this one here in field 11... But it was the Field 8 one, all the way up in that corner. So it with Barley. Let's go with that one. Field 8. Because that one... Go to the map. Yeah, Field 8 up there, or Field 16 down there. And we want to get here. So I need to drive all the way back down. Actually, it's probably faster if I go out to the road here, up to that roundabout, and down that way. And then come in. So I can unload the seed down here rather than try and take it out over to this side. Uh, field 11, 8 and 16. We've got planting jobs lined up. I'll come back into here. And see about... Uh, and then unload. And then I'll put the fertilizer back in this machine. And return the fertilizer i won't use the fertilizer uh, i won't use fertilizer in the next contract so i'll return that i'm hoping that i will get some refund money on that because if i don't that means we really have just wasted an absolute fortune yeah the idea with limiting myself to the number of contracts per day um i didn't get a lot of support for that idea at the moment and I know that it's like it's 20 to 6 now and we've got masses of jobs. But as soon as we skip the night, then we kind of, we, we, we will miss out on all of these jobs. They'll all move on. They'll be done automatically. And so we won't be able to benefit from, like, doing any of these jobs ourselves. So that's kind of like a strong argument in favour of us carrying on and doing it. It does mean that time is not ticking by very quickly. And, yeah, it's, I don't, I don't know, it's, there's pros and cons to whichever way we do it. Like, right? there's, there's going to be pros and cons, whichever way we try and decide to do this, there's, there's going to be some um, definite uh, pluses and minuses on the whole thing. Now, that, is, I'm going to put this one over this way. It's going to load that fertilizer back in. Because fertilizer jobs aren't something that we're going to want to do anymore. So I'm just going to load all of that straight back up. Purely so that I can find out if it will refund the fertilizer when I return the thing. I've got another bit of fertilizer over there, which I'm just going to ignore. And I'm going to set that one there. So I've returned the seed. So then if I go here and we go to the contract, I've got sowing field 25. I do get reimbursement for that one. That's good. So we do get some money coming back. Not all of it, but we do get some. So we'll collect on that job and the ploughing up there. I think that one, I don't know if he's actually finished up there. Let's go and check on him. You down here, we need to empty you out and go chasing off after that one. You up here, you're just about finished. You have now finished that job there. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to leave you up there where you are. You're full, so we'll come down after you in just a second. Let me go and get that contract there. So the ploughing job, that one's now done. Collect, 2,900. And I want the sewing job. So I've got you in here, which is sew field 23 with canola. I'm 
all the way back up there with the same machines to go back to field 23, the one that we've just finished plowing. Uh, there's fertilizer in there. We're not doing fertilizer jobs anymore, at least not for the time being. I'm going to take the field 8 one. So we will borrow items right there, and that's going to be sowing with barley. I'm also going to scroll down through and find that other harvest job for the potatoes on field 9, and I'm going to borrow items there. I hope I'm not in the way with anything. Actually, let's not do that for a second, uh, because I could potentially be in the way of a lot of things with that lot. Actually, I'll come back to you in a second. I want to go to... Oh, you're finished. Right. Don't go to that one yet. Go to this one. Unload those potatoes. We can go and sell these. We can take these potatoes over to the supermarket. But I'll take those over in a minute. I'm not going to take them just yet. We'll put 20,000 in each trailer. Rather than 21,000, that's exactly full. And, yeah, we can worry about the, the rest of it in a bit. Uh, let's bring you right the way under there like that. Load those up. I won't take you straight off. I want to do that one over there. I want to get the last little bit of sugar beet off of there. And then we've got to decide how much we're loading onto the train. It's going to be an interesting one, this is. It's going to be very, very interesting. The potatoes seem to be taking a bit longer than the sugar beet. Well, that does kind of make sense, considering the harvester that we've got for the potatoes. Let's drag you out over here a minute and stop you there. Uh, I want to go back that way. So the train, I'm going to need to move you in a minute. I'll do that in a second. I won't do that yet. Uh, you, you can just wait there a minute. You. So there's one job that we're finished with, and then we can, we'll can we go and get the other potatoes. I'm running four root crop harvests at the same time. Potentially, we can't even properly cope with that. We, we don't have the necessary kind of manpower or anything for it. So I bring you up there like that. Go to this one. Are you running? Unload you there. Dump the last 13,000 litres of sugar beet into this trailer. The harvester can just sit here in the field. I'll bring you forward a little bit like that and fold that bad boy up. So you just got to you fold in, you got to lift the spout first. Lift that one up like that. Then you can do the folding. I think the folding uh, mechanism, like the, how it all works, I think looks really cool. Uh, there's a lot of, like, process with it. And the animation on it is really, really good. I really like that about these harvesters. I think it's a, a absolutely magnificent... It's, it's only small, but it is a really cool attention... You know, a, a really cool little attention to detail, I think. Right. Uh, stopped already so there's 13,000 litres of sugar beet right here we we'll take this over and that's going to go to the store and then we can see how much we want to load into the train to run off to Felsbrunn we kind of got to decide like I want to keep as much sugar beet back as I possibly can that's my main aim here is I want to keep as much as I possibly can so that I can make as much money out of this job as I possibly can. The only thing that we've got to be wary of is... I can't complete the job until the other job... Actually, no, the other job should be fine. It's un like we should be It should be enough in the other job to be able to do that one. You should cope with it, because he's not completely red, so there should be just enough crop coming from it in order to be able to fulfill everything. So that's all everything tipped into there. So then I can go up here. We've got harvesting potatoes, harvesting sugar beet. Field 20 harvesting sugar beet, 16% left. There's 16% there. And then if we go here and we have a look in storage, that's our total storage, so that's not going to tell me. I'm going to go, no... Uh, 
Not you. No, I want to go to the train now. Start up the train and we'll head over and we will load some crop. So where am I going to put that? Does Can I even... Uh, we'll put it into the second bin. we put it into that one. Now I've got... I don't know how much I've got. I think these take 90,000 each. And I'm not sure that I'm going to want to take a full 90,000 litres off of what we've got. It's only going to leave one trailer load of sugar beet left behind. And I don't really want to go and do that. So we'll bring you into the station right here and stop there. Just like that. And then I can go here. Right. Silo West, 200,000 litres. Is that all you hold is 200,000? 155,000 in there. I'm going to take half of it. So we're going to aim for 80,000 in here. This trailer will take 100. This um, trailer, this uh, wagon will take 80, 120,000. I want to take 80,000 in here, which is exactly half of the sugar beet that we've harvested. Well, it's not exactly half. It's actually a fraction over. We're looking at about 77,500 to be half of all the sugar beet that we have harvested. That's what I'm aiming to put into this wagon right here. I want to put half of it in. So 77,500. I've got less than 10,000 to go in here now. And stop there. Right. It's just a tiny fraction over. Well, that's, a, that's half. Right. We, we've got half. So half of the sugar beet. We take this to Felsbrunn. And we'll see, and then that will give us an idea. So we got a total of 16% on the order, and we had 155,000 litres of sugar beets uh, all told for everything. What's going to happen? And also, I've got two orders open, and they're both needing to go to Felsbrunn. So which one is it going to fulfil? That's the next big question is it gonna put it into the wrong one I'm yeah I didn't actually think about this before and did I is it gonna put the like is it gonna accept it into the wrong one do you want to sell the yeah I do want to sell it right 27 tran that's doing it for field 10 so I've got n let me have a look <laughs> okay well there's a slight problem for us so we're gonna have to leave both of these jobs active until one of them is complete so i've got 27 percent transported for field 10 that one's still going so we're gonna have to just do that one first and then we're gonna have to come back and do field 20 as well uh yeah that's also gonna be the problem with the potatoes uh, if I go and take this other potato job, because that's also selling in the same place, that's uh, that also could potentially be a problem. So I won't take the other potato job. I'll leave the second potato harvesting job, and we will just take the the couple that we've got right there at the moment. So I've got this sewing job. The sewing jobs, we can do those. We can do plenty of those. i got 3,000... Uh, liters that I can load in. This one's got to be barley that we want to be putting into here. Uh... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. So while I sit up here and enjoy this view and a well-earned break, could you please consider taking a look at the links in the description down below? We have Nitrado, who provide gaming servers who are very, very reliable, and they provide us with a server on our Discord channel. And there is also Fanatical, where you can buy all kinds of different computer games for various different platforms. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.